Right now, we want to turn it over to Gabrielle Aviera. She's got a look at the traffic edge. Gabrielle. Hey, thanks, Steve. Well, with those winds out there, we're seeing wind warnings at area bridges like the Bay Bridge. So just use caution if you drive a high-sided vehicle. Now, if you're traveling along the Beltway Outer Loop, a bit heavy from Harford Road over to Providence Road, and along Harford Road, a broken water main blocks the travel lane at Taylor Avenue inside the Beltway. Now, in the southwest corner, if you have a flight to catch, you may want to call ahead and check on the status of your flight. No real delays getting there, though. 95 and 295 are clear to 195, and then eastbound 195, a steady ride in towards BW. UI Thurgood Marshall Airport. No delays eastbound 195 and towards the airport. And if you're heading towards the airport, eastbound 195 clear all the way in towards BWI Thurgood Marshall. Eastbound 195 is clear in towards BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport, airport and no reported major delays out through Anne Arundel County. If you're traveling along towards the airport, no delays along 195. Do watch out for a wreck, though, eastbound Route 32 at the BW Parkway. And eastbound 195 is steady if you're heading in towards the airport, uh, no problems getting in towards BWI. And if you're heading towards BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport, eastbound 195 is clear as you head in towards the airport. Another accident along Pulaski Highway, this time at Jones Road, and inside the Beltway, an accident right along Philadelphia Road as you travel through Rossville. Delays along 95, a tractor trailer accident still shuts down a travel lane along the southbound span right at Perryville Road. 95, no real problems, and that looks good all the way down through the Fort McHenry Tunnel. Let's take a look at the top side of the Beltway. Cars are in green, so along the inner loop, no trouble from Stevenson Road over towards the Jones Falls Expressway, but here's that accident now at 70. So Got some trouble out there. If you're heading along 95, just got word of an accident along the southbound lanes uh, right at White Marsh. And as you travel southbound, you can see cars are in the red. Stop and go delays. And you here's a live look you can see for yourself. And out of the northeast corner, southbound I-95 looks good out of Harford County through White Marsh down to the Beltway. And no problems along Route 7 or along Pulaski Highway. That is a look at your morning commute. That is a look at your morning commute. That is a look at your morning commutes. That is a look at your morning commutes. That is a look at your morning commute. That is a look at your morning commutes. That is a look at your morning commute. That is a look at your morning commute. Jennifer and Patrice, back to you. 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 Now, icy conditions reported in Carroll County through Westminster. So use caution if you are heading through that direction. Traveling along 95, looking steady southbound out of Harford County to the Beltway. Fort McHenry and Harbor Tunnel are clear, but also wind warnings at the Key Bridge. Actually on the side streets and the secondary roadways. Major arteries, though, have been well treated. So looking good, like along 95, if you're heading out of Harford County. No major delays along 95, heading southbound and towards the Beltway. But don't be fooled, you still have to use caution and give yourself extra travel time this morning. Now 795 looks pretty good though if you're heading from Reisterstown and Franklin Boulevard all the way down towards the Beltway. 83s are problem free but do have some problem with broken water mains taking out travel lanes along northbound York Road at Cranbrook Drive. But let's take a live look and see how things are moving at the Beltway at 70. This is just one side of the Beltway but you can see no real volume there. And if you continue along the outer loop all the way down towards 95 looking good. 95 is clear southbound heading down through El Ridge into Laurel. Now already an accident along the outer loop right near Liberty uh, 795 and Liberty Road so emergency units are on the scene there. But let me give you a live look and show you how things look out here along the roadways. It's out in Carroll County. It's coming down and we're seeing a lot of snow on the roadway. 795 a bit sloppy as you head southbound towards the Beltway. Watch out for the snow trucks and give them room and space. Top side of the Beltway in the northeast is just a mess. Three accidents reported along the inner loop between Delaney Valley Road and Cromwell Bridge Road so just a heads up there. Fort McHenry and Harbor Tunnel are up to speed. Just about a five to seven minute drive from the toll plaza through the tube. If you're heading out of the northeast corner, southbound 95 is clear from White Marsh Boulevard down to the Beltway. And let's check out the Beltway along the top side out of the northeast at Harford Road. This shot looks like it's frozen, but for the most part, building conditions, not a lot going on. And if you're heading through the tunnels, about five to seven minutes total travel time heading southbound from the Fort McHenry toll plaza through the tunnel. And on the west side, no real problems, but uh, that earlier accident along the outer loop at 290 has been cleared and all lanes are reopened. But let's go ahead and take a live look at the Beltway at Harford Road. Inner and outer loop are up to speed, looking good along the top side. Investigation continues there. No delay southbound through the Fort McHenry Harbor Tunnel or the Key Bridge. Jennifer and Patrice, back to you. 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 Jennifer and Patrice, back to you.